Hey guys, what is going on? It's Gamer James here. Um, we are back with the second leg of our Copa Sudamericana game with Huracan. You may remember in the last last one, uh, last video, we beat them 2-1 with an absolute thunderbolt in the last minute from Andre Chavez. So how have we got on since that game? Well, you can see here that we have won every match. Um, we beat Sarmiento 2-0. And we got past the Copa Argentina 7th round by beating Lanus 1-0 with a goal from uh, Leandro Gonzalez Perez, a beautiful header from a corner. Uh, we then played Aldous Sivi, who were bottom. Um, we dominated but struggled to create anything until Elias Umeri got on the end of a really high looping cross to uh, score the winner. And then we beat All Boys at home with Umeri again scoring and Andre Chavez continuing his recent good form. In the Copa Argentina we did really really well. We were lucky in the fact that we got one of the last two remaining uh, second division teams in another Estudiantes, this time from San Luis. Um, as you see we already played at the Buenos Aires Estudiantes in the uh, sixth round. So the Premier Division table is looking reasonably healthy as well. Third place currently, six points behind Racing Club. Um, we we definitely get in there. We are unbeaten. I think it's in uh, 17 games now, and we've scored in the last 18 competitive. So we're closing in on that 20 game scoring streak achievement, which I haven't managed to unlock yet in FM16. So that would be a nice one for us to get. So we're going into our second leg against Huracan. We are at home for this second leg. It is 2-1 and away goals do count. So Huracan do need to score at least twice. So let's have a look at what we're going to do with the team. There's going to be quite a lot of changes I feel here. So we're just going to do a quick pick and see what happens there. Um, I wouldn't play Lucas Alaza. He's not very fit so we're going to give Tarabini a game. At the moment he's got Gil Romero and Gil. I think I would probably go for that. Romero up from Palacios. Max Rodriguez who's kind of stepped into the team ahead of Walter Kubir at the minute and he's doing reasonably well and I think I'm quite happy with that uh, with that formation. Um, we are going to play with control. Oh god. I set that to attacking him in the last game. It's a good job I've remembered that. Uh, we're going to play with control just to try and uh, guard against some some attacks. I am actually just going to make a change at right back because I'd rather have Velasquez. He can play right back, but I would rather have him on the bench as cover just looking at Carniello's fitness there. So, we are good to go. And the pundits are thinking that we're going to win, so let's hope that is the case. Similar formations. So, let's uh, we're going to passionately tell them, no, not enough good options, and don't get complacent. Uh, Max Rodriguez is not looking good there. There we go. He's looking relaxed. So away we go. This will be a very tense game, I feel. Uh, as I say, Hurricane, they need to win by a two-goal margin, or they would need to win 3-2, 4-3, 5-4, something like that, to, um, to go past us on the away goals. So here we go, Chavez bringing it forward, it's a good ball in, oh, and a merry early chance inside a minute, tipped over, there's a Barto, can't get on the corner, will Gil Romero get there first, he does, holding the ball well here, good play by Gil Romero, oh, that's a strong challenge on, the, on Chavez there, but a fair one. So I know people tune in looking for goals but I would certainly be happy with nil-nil if Omeri could do something here and he's playing Gil in oh it's a brilliant save it was a really really good effort from Gil on his favoured left foot that was a really good shot and Omeri tries to get one away oh no 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 Hurricane coming away with it Perea Diaz oh he's gone all the way oh he's obviously not right footed 15 minutes down. I'm really nervous for this game. Really, really nervous. It's quite bizarre, really. It's 
starting, I reckon, to get a little uh, foothold in the game. Let's try and get away. Well done, Palacios. That's good play. I see back to Palacios. Just calm it down. That's nice. Gill. Might just have to have a look at the tempo. That's a great looking ball. And the Mary's in. Oh. And he puts it straight at Arche. That was not a, not a confident effort from a man in form. Gil Romero there with a great interception. And Gil, back to Gil Romero. And Max Rodriguez to Gil. Forward to Lemery. He's out with Palacios now and he's played back in. It's cleared away. Come on. Gil, let's make the most of this. It's a good little spell, this. Ah, oh, Chavez is tackled. Perez there at the back is having a good game for for Hurricane. He's made a couple of good uh, Perez Acuna. He's made a couple of good tackles, and vital interceptions. Here's Palacios in field to Gill, and Max Rodriguez onto a Mary, and he's going it all the way into the box. Oh, and he scored! Get in! What a brilliant finish, Elias and Mary. Halfway through the first half, we are three-one up on aggregate. Drives past his marker there. That's brilliant forward play and then poor 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 goalkeeping massive gap at his near post and Mary is on fire this season the ball is played forward and Mary could be away again here played it to Gill probably should have done better there Leonardo Gill on his left foot fires it way over the bar get the feeling he probably snatched at that one a bit Fairness, it's a deserved lead. It is a deserved lead at the minute. We've created far more chances. We've looked far better. That's a great challenge from Palacios. But they've kept hold of the ball, Hurricane, but that's well played by Assis and Palacios now. Rodriguez, 4 to a Merry. This is a good looking counter. And they've got a corner. It was a great shot from a Merry from uh, well outside the box. A good block, but there's Gonzalez Perez. He's really real threat at corners for us, Gonzalez Perez. Players are starting to look really tired. I think we've got it set to high tempo still. As a Mary comes in and misses a sitter. Oh, you should have scored that. We're doing well. Let's passionately tell them to keep things going. There's a lot of tired players out there already. I think we're going to stick with it at the minute. There's Walter Kavir. He's one of our, been one of our better players over the last season and a half, two seasons since I've been in. I will bring him on, but he's uh, just realised I've got no left winger on the bench. That's going to be a problem. Andres Chavez is looking really, really tired. Might just have to bring the tempo down a little bit, try and control the game a little bit more, maybe. I think we may have to do that. Let's see how, what plays out here. Desabato heads away, Gil Romero heads on, Rodriguez heads on, and Palacios trips up. Oh, but that's an awful pass. Oh, great attempt at the cross. Correa Diaz bringing it away. Tarabini does well. Chavez, great ball, early ball to Umeri. Cuts into the box, pulls it back. Rodriguez back to Umeri. And Chavez. And that's going to be a corner. The keeper couldn't hold it, Arche. Walks out of play with it. In goes a corner. Oh, and a great header away. And that, I'm not really sure what that was from Sosa. Just lumps it upfield and it's gone out of play. Getting to that point where we start thinking about substitutions. Assis tries a long range shot. Hurricane are, are gonna have to um they're gonna have to do something here. Oh, we're at normal tempo. So what I might do is just take it lower and just retain the possession. Be a bit more disciplined, I think. Let's just get those going and then we'll have a look at some substitutions. Palacios to Gill. Just want to take the heat out of the game now. Umeri! Oh, what a hit from Umeri. Arche was relieved to see that coming straight at him. 
and he's managed to deal with it either side of him, even by an inch, and that was flying into the back of the net. Let's have a quick look then. And Mary's playing really, really well, so I don't really want to take him off. I'm going to take Rodriguez off and bring on Kubia. I think I might bring Cascini on, probably for Gil Romero. Just uh, because Romero's on a yellow card, Perez will also look to get hooked in 10 or 15 minutes, I think, if uh, with him being on a yellow as well, unless we've managed to wrap the game up. Sosa plays it across, it's headed away. Ricardo, oh, and Rossi at full stretch, just manages to hold that one. That's a good save, good concentration from the keeper. Andre Chavez is really struggling now, and so is Amery. Their season is starting to take its toll on the players. But we have been excellent this game. Arche again managing to do short distribution, which is one of the instructions that we have to prevent it, and it never seems to happen. I see so the wonderful tackle there, just steps in, takes the ball. Leonardo Gill to Kubia. Gill and Palacios. Had a good game down the right as well, Palacios. Could be with a fancy back back heel, I'm not so happy with that at the minute. Put the game to bed before you start doing the flicks and the tricks. Oh, that's a great ball. And there's a very and that should should see us through 2-0 fall on an aggregate we are making short work of last season's champions brilliant ball in and a confident finish again couldn't really miss but just thumps it home O'Meary oh, I am so happy right now of course we got knocked out by Boca at this stage the f our first, uh, first round of this competition for us second preliminary so we will go through it's a competition I want to win the Super Americano it's kind of like the Europa League it's the second second continental competition we are striking the ball around beautifully here Kubia out to Assis Cassini Kubia and Gale couldn't force it home Sosa's going to bring it away, that's a good ball down to Mendoza. He's got no one in the middle at the minute. Sosa's continued his run and hits one. It's a decent effort. I don't really want to take Umeri off when he's on a hat-trick, because it could, could upset him a bit. So I think we'll take Palacios off, and we'll bring Jonathan Gomez on a bit of fresh legs. And what I might actually do, sorry guys, is... I might just do the right flank, just to um, just to try and see if they can just keep it going with Jonathan Gomez rather than Chavez now, who is dead on his feet virtually, and don't want to risk injury to him. So I wonder if we can focus the play down the right a little bit, where we've got fresh legs. That's Gill, good ball. Here is Gomez down the right. That's a good footwork. Oh, he's passed another one. Pulls it back to Assis. And across to Gill. Cashin to Gill and Kubia. Played in. And there's O'Meary for the hat trick. Tipped around by Arche. I'm not sure how much we knew about it. Chavez, Cashini. Gonzalo Assis. Where we're seeing this game out really well. We're still totally dominating. We're now dominating the possession a little bit as well. Which is not often we've managed to do that. That's a good tackle. Espinosa. Oh, that's an awful pass. Awful back pass. But Mendoza can't make anything of it. But there's the ball in. And Espinosa scores. And it's 2-1. And the nerves just start to jitter again a little bit. It's all our own doing was that. From a poor, poor back pass. Allows Hurricane in to... Reduce the arrears, it's 4-2 on aggregate, and of course if they do do the unthinkable and pull, pull this back to 4-4, they will go through. So we just, what we need to do now, sorry, didn't want to do that, what we do need to do is do a, do a team talk, we need to tell them to concentrate. 
Let's go, boys. Come on. See this one through now. Five minutes to go plus stoppage time. Come on, boys. Perez Acuna to Pagado. Played forward and Mendoza could be in here and he takes it early. It's what he it's all he could do is take that early. Kabia. Umeri. Gomez. Jonathan Gomez. Deep cross right under the bar. Breaks a Chavez. Yes. And there it is. That is going to see us through. That will see us through. Kind of got all in a muddle there on the cross that came right under the crossbar. And Chavez slams it in. 5 2 on aggregate. And the dead man walking Chavez, he must be absolutely knackered. Has smashed us through to the next round. Absolutely delighted. There's the final whistle. Brilliant performance. Brilliant win. A little bit slack on their goal. We gave it them. But that is absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I am so, so happy. Defensive efforts were crucial and Tarabini switched off. That's good when you're trying to earn yourself a place in the team. Playmaking efforts were excellent and that's not really made any effort. Um, Elias and Mary, I'm going to do him just me to him. Dominating performance today was spectacular and nothing noted. I am so, so happy. I don't actually know when the draw is. Um, I wonder if it's straight away. Mm, nope. So let's see what the other results are. I didn't look at those. So Lanus gone through against Colon and River are out. Independiente put River out. That's, um, that's a bit of a shock. So we've got a lot of games still to play but we're we're safely through to the first round. Uh, and I'm well I'm over the moon. It's a fantastic result. We're doing we're doing better in the cups this season than we did last season. So uh, that is all good. The first round look there is uh, in 18th of October, so it's a little while before we have the draw for it. So anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. That's all the time I've got. Um, I will look to do. I'll probably do league game for the next one. So maybe somewhere around here uh, when I can update you on the cup, on who we got in the next round as well. So uh, that's great. Uh, if you could, you know, consider clicking the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. And you can follow on Twitter at Game Affair and go to gameaffair.wordpress.com. And stay tuned because I do have uh, a project that I'm working on uh, with my uh, seven year old son called Dad and Lad Gaming. So uh, stay tuned, I'll probably give you some updates on that on this channel as well. But thank you very much for watching, I'll speak to you again soon.